Good morning, folks. With a bright active region turned enough for analysis, we confirm this morning a lack of sunspots beneath it. We've got top science news, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star was exceedingly quiet. Tough to argue that our star doesn't have the 11-year sunspot minimum phased down firmly right now. Even the solar wind stream is easing back this morning as the plasma speed, middle panel in purple, crests and begins its descent, dropping geomagnetic instability which had lasted a few days, and folks, that is in fact an error on the magnetometer. Not only did the other device not show the drop, but you wouldn't have internet to listen to this if that really happened out of nowhere. Top weather event was a combined flood and snowstorm in Pakistan. Hit parts of Afghanistan as well, actually. Came fast, unpredictably, and has claimed at least six lives. That number is expected to rise. Let's go to North America and look ahead for a week. There are no less than three systems set to invade the states from the Pacific, each with the ability to drive major snow events across the continent, and later in the week, a number of severe outbreaks are possible in the southeast especially as we get into next weekend, which is when the third of those three systems will be making landfall in California. Up first on the article run is a literature review of the effect of cosmic rays on the human mind, everything from cell damage to behavioral changes like anxiety, loss of focus, memory deficit, cognitive diminution, and more. It's open access and free to read. Up next, we've got two electroquake articles, the first one details the aerosol release from the ground prior to major events in China. This aerosol release is often driven by and contains ions that foretell the event. But up at the ionosphere is where the real signals can be seen. In this study, half of all magnitude 8 events studied had incredible ionospheric signals before their rupture. This is especially interesting because we found the correlation between the sun and magnitude 8 events in the solar polar magnetic fields and said many would show in the ionosphere first. Up next, we've got two eyes wide open researchers drilling down into the electric dynamo model for solar flares and their effects on Earth. It is a golden nugget of an Easter egg and based on the state of the mainstream field, these two are about a decade before their time. Speaking of electrodynamics at Earth, the magnetic field is undergoing a reversal, or at least a major excursion and field weakening. This has been one of our top areas of focus for years, and now we have a new way to confirm the decline of Earth's magnetic protection over time in the magnetic current data. No surprise here, downward trend visible in this new data set going back to 1900 as a confirmation of other recent works. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Our textbook, our children's books, and some fun swag can be found at otf.cells.com. And I'll take a moment to thank everyone for the amazing feedback you've sent to us. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.